start, you're gonna need a serger, and we're using a Baby Lock 1034D, and also just a regular domestic sewing machine, and this is a Singer Heavy Duty. And the links for these machines will be in the description. You'll need fabric, and you can use pretty much any stretchy fabric. We're gonna be using a t-shirt knit, and just a regular sweater knit. Pretty much any stretchy thin fabric will work perfect because you want it thin enough to stretch over your head for all the uses. Then print your pattern off from properfitclothing.com. The link will be in the description. Cut it out on the outside of the black line and then go ahead and tape it together. Start by taking your outer layer and placing it on the fold, trace it and cut it out. For your outer layer, you can go ahead and place it on the fold or not. It's totally up to you because this layer, you can either use one layer of fabric or two layers. And since our inner fabric is a little bit thicker, we're going to go ahead and cut it at the fold and only use one layer. So go ahead and take your outer layer and your inner layer, unfold them, place right sides together and sew the long end. And we're going to be using a serger because it's stretchy knitwear, but if you don't have a serger, you can go ahead and use a zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine. Now go ahead and lay that out and then fold it in half. The next step will be sewing the edge, but you're going to want to leave a little gap. This gap will allow you to pull it right side out at the end. So go ahead with right sides together, start sewing, and then skip about three to four inches and then sew the rest of it. Next, you're gonna go ahead and take the top, twist it, and then line up the edges so the seams will be opposite side of each other. And then you're gonna place the right side together and it can be a little bit tricky, but just fold it over on itself and you can pin it if you want, but make sure the seams are on opposite sides because this will give it that nice twist at the top like a beanie. But also give you the option of opening it up and wearing it as a neck warmer or face mask or however you wanna wear it. And honestly, you can wear this in so many different ways. So with right sides together, go ahead and sew all the way around that circle. And if you don't have a serger, again, go ahead and do a zigzag stitch. And the real trick is to just keep moving the fabric around and moving that top out of the way so you can keep going around that circle. Now from that hole you left, go ahead and pull the right side out. And once you have it out, go ahead and keep working it around until you can find that hole on the outside layer. And once you've found that opening, you're going to go ahead and place the right sides together by folding it in on itself and then just doing a top stitch. And definitely use a thread that matches so that way you don't see it in the end. And then go ahead and just do a straight stitch. And it's just that simple. That's all you have to do. Your hat is done and you can wear it however you like. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. If you have any other ideas for a video, be sure to send them our way. We'll try to make it happen for you. Until then, we're going to keep the videos coming at you and we'll see you next time.